It's arguably the first great African-American play. Uh, the play is set across 10 years, from 1922 to 1932, in Chicago, and it's way ahead of its time. It follows the lives of one particular family, the Mason family. Uh, my name is Michael Attenborough. My passion for it as a director is to do with the sheer quality of the writing, the fluency and ease and accuracy of the dialogue, his beautiful sense of characterization. Each character is measured and, and drawn up and articulated very, very finely, no matter how small they are. Her motherly instincts are massive, and that is what's guiding her. And the fact that the children need to eat, she needs to keep the roof over their head. You know, the kids have to fall out of school, they have to come out of college. Like the eldest son, Les, has to leave college, you know, and give, bring the money that he's making into the family. And then he has to take a menial job, which demeans him and it demeans their ideals. So I do understand what she's going through. I think what makes the play particularly modern is that he writes three-dimensionally about the people. There aren't heroes and villains. There are people battling with hugely complex, contradictory, difficult situations. So at one moment they can be heroic, and at the next moment they can be vulnerable and weak. On the whole, people try and act for the best of motives and make terrible messes. I got too much sense to let prejudice blind me to the things that count in this world. I got too much sense to let prejudice blind me to the things that count in this world. Particularly the issues of race um, are ones that you know, we all have spoken so sort of passionately about them in rehearsal. They're issues that we, we, we have to grapple with every day in some shape or form. And therefore that debate which was happening 70 years ago in Chicago is happening 70 years ago in this play is still very much alive today and I think modern audiences respond to that. What I want is freedom here and now. So do I. But I say first get the cash. It's about people and I think it's very humanity is actually what will connect with a modern audience. It's a chance of a lifetime. You're still just thinking about... You're still just thinking about yourself. Well, even so, man, you're not going to Africa tomorrow, are you? And he's a fabulous storyteller. I mean, it's just a wonderful story. You just... I found myself turning the pages as if I was reading a whodunit. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that? Should we do that again?